Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? My name is Joe. And welcome back to the channel. So this is it. This is the first episode of our mini series. We've been promoting it on YouTube a little bit, promoting it on Instagram. Hopefully you've had a chance to see some of those commercials, if you will. And if you're not following us on Instagram, please make sure you do. The link will be below. So what we're going to, what we did is we went ahead and Googled some of the most popular beard oils or beard products in the game. And the ones that came up, typically we would consider bigger batch companies. So that's what we want to focus on. We're going to go ahead and test those out for you and then compare them to some of the smaller batch companies um, that we've tried, which is probably hundreds at this point. So our first one that we're going to be reviewing is a really popular one, of course, and it is Honest Amish Premium, the beard oil. That's what that looks like right there. So that's what we're going to dive into for you guys today. Right. And the reason why we wanted to do this is because there's a lot of conflicting information out there. We've seen a lot of these products that we're going to be testing on a lot of top five of the best beard products you can get. But after watching some YouTube reviews and seeing some other reviews out there, some of these guys that have put these products in their beard have claimed that these are some of the worst that they put in their beards. So the only way to find out for sure is to test them out ourselves and provide you guys with our 100% honesty feedback on all these products that we're going to try. But before we dive into episode number one here, please make sure you've hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future content, hit that thumbs up, and we'll be right back after this intro. See you in a bit. Right, everyone welcome back to the intro let's go ahead and dive right into this so like i mentioned before we're talking about honest amish premium now if you if you've been in the beer game a little bit if you probably just own one product i would guess the likelihood is it's either the regular honest amish or the premium this was the first product i ever bought off um, amazon so let's go ahead and dive right into it so like i just said there is a website. I know myself and a few other uh, buddies that have owned these products all get it off Amazon. I believe it's even Amazon's choice, but this bottle of this two ounce bottle of beard oil is going to run you about $19 and change. Right. Um, so Joe, kick us off with the presentation. Yeah. Uh, and I will say first and foremost about the price. I think it's a fair price. When you look at the bottle, this bottle is a mammoth two ounce bottle of oil here. So if you break it down to, you know, one ounce and one ounce, you're averaging actually under under $10 a bottle, which is well below that market average. That's really about that $18, $19 range nowadays. So they're really killing it with, with the price for sure. So when you uh, first get this uh, product, um, whether you go to a store such as like a Walmart, um, or if you get it off of Amazon or buy from their website, they are gonna come in this uh, box over here. And and you don't see these a whole lot. Um, I actually like the box. Um, I think it's cool. I think it just adds a little extra flair to it. Um, and then the uh, classic, you know, Amish uh, gentleman over there, which is pretty iconic in the bearded community. I do like yep. that box. It's a nice touch. And then you got the bottle, which actually matches it very, very well. And as you can see there, you got a nice frosted bottle there. That is always cool. And you got a logo that has, or a label, I should say, that has all the directions, the ingredients that you need. And then um, you got a space so you can see exactly how much oil you have left. So presentation, I think is very vintage. It matches what they're, um, you know, really what they're going for. And uh, yeah, I have no complaints about the presentation whatsoever. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's really cool. The oil almost matches the label which is kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's done on purpose or happy accident, but um, yeah, it, it does. It's definitely a cool presentation. Um, let's go ahead and dive right into the scent. So the scent is pepper and wood. I believe it's a cedar wood, if I'm, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, so the original Honest Amish 
which is a separate oil made by this company, is known for smelling like black licorice. It's terrible. I, I cannot stand the scent. This one is better, but not by much. This really smells bad, in my opinion. Um, it reminds me of like an old, dusty wood shop. Really strong on the wood scent, but not like the outdoorsy, fresh kind of wood. I'm talking like, I was going to say like fresh sawed cedar wood, but that smells kind of cool. It's a very rough scent. Um, the good news is I, it only lasts in my beer for about an hour and then it fades away. So as far as the scent goes, that's pretty much all I have for you. Yeah, uh, I'm right there with you on the scent. Um, you know, I know this isn't the best way to start a review, but you know, we're you know we're, we are 100% transparent, 100% honest. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> I guess you, should, you can say. Got him. Um, yeah, I did not enjoy the scent. Um, I have had the classic, which is that Jägermeister black licorice type smell. Uh, by all means, I know there's a lot of guys out there that actually enjoy that. I, for one, am not. Uh, the premium did not do too much better for me. Uh, the cedar and the black pepper was just too much. Uh, when you have that black pepper and you don't have a good balance with it, it literally, like if you held up pepper to your nose, it makes you want to sneeze. I kind of get that feeling when I have this into my beard, um, which is not an enjoyable experience. As far as the cedar wood goes, it just makes me feel like I'm in the wood section of a Home Depot. It just smells like lumber that's just been sitting there. There's really no flair to it. It's really one dimensional and it just did not get put together well for me uh, whatsoever. The scent, unfortunately, it was just something that honestly took away from the feeling beard that we're gonna talk about here in a second. It made me really want to wash out my beard. I just did not enjoy the scent at all. So. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the feel and beard. Let's start with the ingredients. I'm going to try to read this here. Uh, virgin black cumin oil, virgin avocado oil, golden jojoba oil, virgin argan oil, virgin bab, babeb or baboob oil, uh, virgin rosehip oil, mokinga oil, apricot oil, sea buckhorn oil and virgin pumpkin seed oil. So it's definitely not out there. It's definitely things that we've heard of. There's a few new ones on there for me personally that I haven't tried in my beard, but Joe's showing it off. That's what the oil looks like. It's a pretty deep golden yellowish color. To me, the oil, it isn't thick, but it's pretty dense. Mm -hmm. um, it's maybe a touch on the greasier or heavier side. Don't get me wrong. It did absorb into my beard nicely. Here's the good news. I thought the feeling beard was pretty good. Um, it's uh, like I said, it's a thicker oil. It felt like it added a little more protection. Um, the first few minutes when I had it on and I'm like kind of, you know, starting my day, it does feel a little heavier in beard, but it absorbs pretty nice. It did give my beard a little bit more of, I'm wearing it right now, a little bit more of a glow than normal. But overall, I thought it, it really absorbed and did its job pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm right there with you. I, I actually, when you look at the ingredients, there's some top notch ingredients in there and I think it's blended. I think it's blended uh, very well. Um, I do, I do get what you mean when about the greasiness, maybe there is a little bit of grease to it, but overall I thought it soaked into my beard very well. By all means, when I, when I use this oil, I did not use nearly as much as I normally do for maybe other mm -hmm. oils. And that is just because of that, that, you know, greasy texture to it. But overall, after about a half hour, I usually do the hand test. And if I still have some on my hands, that usually tells me, A, I either put too much in it or B, this is just uh, a greasy oil that potentially wasn't made too well. Um, I really didn't get that too much and I really didn't have any complaints. I really felt like my beard was moisturized throughout the entire day at no part uh, during the day that I feel like I needed to reapply. So I got a good solid eight hours out of the feeling beard, which is great. And um, yeah, I mean, I just, I really felt like my beard actually enjoyed having it in there a lot better than what my nose <laughs> felt, you know, with, with, with yeah. the set. So right. uh, Phil yeah. and Beard, I mean, I, I think it's top, almost top notch. Nice. So in closing, the big question, how does this compare to the small batch companies? Is it right up there or is it not? I'll go ahead and kick us off. To me, it's not. Um, I definitely didn't, in, I didn't not like it by any means. Um, would I wear this again after I'm testing? 
probably once or twice here or there, but obviously I have a lot of products by a lot of small batch companies. And of course, small batch isn't always the best. Don't get me wrong. Um, it just, you know, it was okay. I didn't like the scent. The feel and beard was great, but I just have so many products where I love the scent, love the feel and beard. So it's kind of hard for me to choose this one over a different one. But when a lot of people think like big market or Amazon company, they might kind of be scared away. I would say, don't be scared away. If you, if you want to try this because it is so popular, I would say go for it. Right. Uh, yeah. And I think, I think the best thing about uh, this product and a lot of the products that we're going to cover in, uh, during this series is products that are going to be easy for you to get if you're like, um, if you need to grab something in a hurry. So maybe you're not a collector like Kyle and myself and some of the other beardsmen out there and you need to run out to the store and grab something just so you at least have a product in your beard. If I'm going to make a recommendation, uh, Honest Amish is is definitely a great company to have. That's exactly how I got the classic um, Honest Amish that I've had before. It was when I just didn't have enough oil and I needed to run out to get something because I didn't have time to wait for the uh uh, for it to be mailed over to me. Um, so for convenient wise, I think you're, I think you're going to get um, a product that will do the job, but by all means, if you can wait for something to be mailed to you, there are far better options out there, um, that you can go. Um, there's a few, um, companies that actually offer, uh, two ounce bottles at pretty similar prices. And I just think you're getting an overall better quality, uh, from those companies. Right. Yeah. Well said. So guys, Question for you, please leave a comment. Do you have Honest Amish? I have a feeling the answer is going to, or have you owned it in the past? I have a feeling the answer is going to be yes for a lot of people. Also, do you agree with us? And then also from the Honest, Honest Amish that you own, how does it compare to some of the small batch companies out there that you've tried? Please go ahead and leave a comment below. So this was part one of our mini series. I hope you liked it. If you have recommendations on stuff you want us to review from the big market companies, let us know. Maybe we'll get to it. Guys, that's all the time that we have for you today. As always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.